In this video, we will discuss Bergada syndrome, its etiology, pathology, clinical features, EKG features, and the treatment of Bergada syndrome. Bergada syndrome is an autosomal dominant disease that has a familial tendency in 60% of the cases. There is sudden cardiac death at around the age of 35 years, especially during sleep. It occurs in Asian people, more in the people from Thailand and Laos. So what happens in Bergada? syndrome hemodynamic collapse syncope ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation leading to sudden cardiac death in the absence of structural disease of the heart blackout can occur in normal heart rhythm due to sudden drop in blood pressure hypokalemia and decreased blood supply to the right ventricular outflow tract what's depolarization and repolarization hypothesis of Bergada syndrome there is mutation in the genes that lead to decreased inward sodium current in the cell membrane of the right ventricular outflow tract. So what sodium causes in the action potential? Sodium causes a rapid rise in the initial upstroke of the action potential, the phase zero of the action potential where it causes rapid entry into the cell. Decreased sodium entry causes decreased magnitude of the action potential. So if there is decreased sodium entry, then the magnitude of the action potential is also decreased. Decrease in the early peak current in Bergada syndrome leads to slowing of the electrical conduction through the heart muscle leading to conduction slowing. Sodium channel abnormality causes repolarization defect affecting the right ventricle. Unopposed potassium outflow current leads dramatic action potential shortening in the epicardium due to abnormalities between the electrical properties of the endocardium and epicardium. The action potential in the epicardium shows a prominent notch after the initial spike due to a transient invert current. So this is the normal notch in the action potential after the spike in the epicardium. But in Bergada syndrome, this notch is lost in the action potential. So marked potential differences between the normal endocardium and abnormal epicardium gives rise to the characteristic EKG pattern. So what are the EKG pattern? ST segment elevation in the anterior chest lead. This is the normal anterior chest lead P1 and this one has a elevated ST segment in Bergada syndrome in the lead V1, 2 and 3 leading to local re-entry and life-threatening ventricular arrhythmia in the absence of structural heart disease. And the third hypothesis is that of scarring especially in the right ventricular outflow tract because this disorder occur around the age of 35 not before that so there may be some scarring at that age in the right ventricular outflow tract leading to Bergada syndrome. EKG of these patients simulates right bundle branch block but the ST segment is elevated. There are two types of ST segment elevation in Bergada syndrome in the right chest lead. ST segment elevation may be cove shape in the anterior chest lead or it may be saddle back shape ST segment elevation. These patients also have right bundle branch block. So what are the drugs implicated in causing Bergada syndrome? Antiarrhythmic sodium channel blockers, procainamide, plaquenide, and verapamil may cause the symptoms. Antidepressant, amitriptyline, and acetylcholine because it increases vagal tone may also cause Bergada syndrome. The diagnosis of Bergada syndrome. EKG is the best test to identify Bergada syndrome because there is no structural disease. So how is it done? In those who have a family history of sudden cardiac death, especially in sleep, at a younger age without structural heart disease. A 12 lead EKG is recorded in sinus rhythm for evidence of ST elevation in leads V1, V2 and V3. Number two, a positive provocative testing with sodium channel blockers is also done and it's not done by stress testing. Treatment, beta blockers do not work. Sodium channel blockers like procainamide and flaconide can exacerbate the disease so they are not used. So what's the treatment? 
treatment of the acute ventricular tachycardia in Bargada syndrome. Acute ventricular tachycardia in Bargada syndrome responds to isoproterenol and also to quinidine. Quinidine may be used for longer terms and for recurrent attacks implantable cardioverter defibrillator ICD device is used.